I think I have my Christmas gifts covered this year for my family. There they are, Swiss Army Knives. Everybody's name was burned into it. Inspired by Van Neistat, the golden word, the gifting holy trinity. Wanna know what I'm talking about? We'll keep watching. Christmas gifts, what to give, what to do. I've been inspired by the Golden Word and the Gifting Holy Trinity, videos by Van Neistat. Let me know down in the comments if you've seen his work and what he's doing on YouTube. He's a talented man. Nobody come say me, that with the flow and go. In his Gifting Holy Trinity video on YouTube, he says a gift is great if it has three elements. If it's nice, if it's made, and if it's thoughtful. A gift is good if it has any two of those three elements. His golden word, Swiss Army Knives, he said that they're good, not great, because they possess only two of the three elements. But I think they're great, and they'll make the perfect gifts for my family if I can succeed in making them. The plan is, is to put my family members' names on each one of these Swiss Army knives, put the date on there as well, and gift it to them for Christmas. What I want to do is use this wood burner to engrave, to burn their name into the Swiss Army knife. It's going well so far. I have many more names to do. You have to be careful, you don't want to burn too much into the knife. Just go smoothly, write out each letter of the name. It really takes a steady hand and it's kind of cold out here in the shed. I'm trying to get each letter straight as possible. If the letters are a little bit crooked, that just shows a little bit of the personal touch in your Christmas gift. Some of them have longer names than others, but we have the names on every knife. Now on the back side, the opposite side, the B side, I'm gonna date each one. On some of them, I'm putting the date of Christmas, hold on. And on the others, I'm putting Christmas 2021. It's a way to remember, years from now, they'll remember when they got the gift. Everything is dated. Now my plan is to fill in each letter with gold or... To fill in each letter with gold or silver, that's why with silver or gold paint. You remember from my vlog the other day, I went out and bought this at the hobby at the toy store? Well, now I'm gonna paint each letter in the knives with gold or silver. Okay, this is it. I got the silver in some of the names. It took a lot of patience, and some of them I made some slight mistakes, but the overall result, I'm happy with it. It's gonna be a super cool gift. That took a lot of time and I'm still not finished. Hold on. I have to finish painting a few more knives, but for the most part, I'm satisfied. The knives look really good. I'm taking, I need to finish the project before I leave for the United States on Wednesday. I'm going to San Francisco and I'll be celebrating Christmas in Sacramento. I think the family will be happy. Now on the Gifting Holy Trinity, I want you to go watch that video by Van Neistat and then comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. But he says the gift you give should be no bigger than the size of your hand. And that's simply because if the person hates the gift, at least your gift, if they don't have the heart to throw it away, it's not going to occupy space in their house. That's a smart idea. What gifts are you giving for Christmas? Have you thought about it yet? Have you made your own gifts or are you going out and shopping? In the video, Van says that his Swiss Army knives, the golden word Swiss Army knives, are simply good, not great, because they're nice and made, but not thoughtful. Not thoughtful because he makes so many of them, but for me, these are not only good, they're great, and I hope my family members find them nice, made, and thoughtful. Mm -hmm. 